around the base of the tail. While I'm doing this, we can note that there are several techniques out there for banding. I was taught this technique by a corgi breeder, but if you've never done it before and you can watch somebody do it or assist somebody do it, that is the best way to learn. Okay, now I need to get the puppy hind legs under the body. Don't let him scoot out the top. Whoops. Okay, let's get the hind legs under the body. Scoop. Okay, you want the butt kind of sticking out up in the air. You got him. Take our elastic thread, dip it in the alcohol. Dab off. Okay, you want to keep that tail just as straight toward the head as you can, not twisted. You can see the white line right here. Place it right on the white line above the rectum. Pull down. Now we're going to pull up and cross over the back as high as you can. Pull tight. Cross back under the second time, exactly where you were. Pull tight. Don't let the baby get away. Cross back over the top, exactly where you were the first time. Whoops. You do not want the thread to twist like you just saw. Somebody hold the tail tighter there. Okay, pull tight. Okay, back up. Coming back under again. Pull tight, down. Always make sure to pull tight. As I mentioned before, that is the key. Nodding off now. These tails should dry up within the next three to four days and drop off on their own. You may never see them as some mothers will eat the tails. We're going to be following this as they shrivel up so that you can see exactly what to expect to see. We're going to check again. Always make sure that you have not compromised the rectum, which we haven't. You can see the band above. Everything is tight and in order. The baby has stopped fussing because we've turned him loose. Notice again that the tail takes a hang down position. And this little baby is done. Here are our puppies. 24 hours after we have done the banding, they're resting comfortably and the tails initially within the first 12 hours will tend to swell a little bit right behind the band. This little puppy you can see is still a little bitty puffy. A little bit puffiness is to be expected and on this one you can see the puffiness has gone down and the tail is actually starting to dry a little bit. This tail will fall off faster than this one. This tail was a little thicker at the base. The thicker the tail tends to be at the base, the slower it will dry up and fall off. So we will be back in another 24 hours to look and see how the tails are doing then. Here are our puppies 48 hours after the banding. As you can see, this one is continuing to shrivel and dry. It's even starting to pull away a little bit at the base. Might be a little hard to see on the video, but it's, it's crimping up. It's crimping up there. I expect this one to be off tomorrow or the next day. It's only been two days. This tail here was the one that we talked about that's a little thicker, so it's taking it a little bit longer to dry and shrivel up, but this looks very good considering it's only been two days. Here again, I think it'll be off in probably two more days, and it's very typical for the tails to fall off around the third or fourth day from banding. So we'll come back again in another 24 hours to see how they're doing. We are back with our puppies 
72 plus hours after the banding. We did it on Monday afternoon and this is Thursday evening, so it's the night of the third day. We've got one tail that has come off this evening and here we go. As you, you can see where the band was tied and the bone always breaks in front of the band. So when you get the band placed as high as you want, you're still going to have it break off even deeper than what you actually have. And on the puppy, everything looks clear. The rectum is right here, and you'll see a little indent above. It usually dries from the inside, heals from the inside out, so it doesn't look wet or anything. This turned out very nice. The little indent is actually further in than the rectum, so this was a very good banding on this little baby. This is the other puppy that we're waiting on. This tail is very loose. As you can see, I can wiggle it. You can move it up and down. It's very dry, as you can tell. Tomorrow will be the fourth day, and I'm pretty certain that we'll get up in the morning and this tail will be already off. So we will look at that tomorrow. Here are our puppies on the fourth day post the banding. This is the little one that the tail came off of yesterday. As you see, everything is healed well. It's very dry. This is our little girl. Hers came off this morning, and it's totally dry. So everything has gone well here. Here's the little tail. As you can see, it has broken well above the band again. So everything has gone well with these babies. So just to recap what we've done, the bandings are generally done when the puppies are three days old. If they are failing to gain or are very small, you can wait a few days later. I like to see about an ounce and a half weight gain before we band the tails, but since it causes very little trauma, you really could do it on day three regardless. I just prefer to wait until I see some kind of weight gain, and I've had no problem with that. Um, it's most important when you're banding to make sure that you pull the bands very tight. There's no such thing as getting them too tight. I've actually broken the threads before and had to start over. Always be sure not to compromise the rectum. Make sure the band is above so that it causes no interference. Keep everything as clean and dry as possible. Drying is the key. If the mother is not doing a very good job of cleaning, you can use baby wipes to clean beneath the tail, but try to keep everything clean without actually putting the tail beneath water or putting actual water on the area. Um, the tails are generally off by day five. Sometimes the band can get caught up in the hair and the tail has trouble actually detaching. If day five comes and the tail looks like it has dried sufficiently, you might want to give it a twist to the right, and generally if it's ready, it will snap right off. If you see at any time things are looking wet or just getting too raw or just not looking quite right, please do consult a veterinarian. If not done correctly, there can be infection but we have never had that problem. And here again, there are various techniques to the banding. This is simply one that I was taught by a corgi breeder. If you can get somebody to let you assist in a banding before you try to do it yourself, that's probably always the best way to learn.